So, we were going over Renault's case file. Curtis showed up, and he seemed surprised. Well, yeah, it makes sense. You're living in what, until recently, was his home. <laughs> With, until recently, was his wife. They're still married. You know exactly what I mean. Yeah. That had to be extremely difficult for Curtis. It did seem like he had something he wanted to say, but he backed off. <laughs> because you were there. Don't forget, Jordan and Curtis split up because she lied to him about you. So what, that makes it my fault? No, it doesn't make it your fault. It just makes it messy. Look, I don't want to do anything to get in the way of them patching things up. But it does make me wonder. Wonder what? Would you feel the same? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I know you cheated on me, Portia. And I'm pretty sure it was with Curtis. Baby, if you think there's something going on between me and Tiger, you're wrong. It is just all work between us. And that's the problem. Look, you and Tiger, you share a closeness. You share an easy intimacy that I know has nothing to do with sex or romance. Just two people with the same goal, with their eyes on the same prize. What's wrong with that? Nothing. But there's a stark contrast, okay? You don't have to keep secrets from Taggart. There's nothing the two of you can't share with each other. And I started to realize that that was never gonna happen with us. I mean, yeah, we love each other, but that level of trust and ease? I don't think that I've ever felt that with you. What are you saying? I'm saying... I think it's time that we got a divorce. You knew about me and Curtis? I suspected. Yeah, but for how long? I mean, since the divorce? Uh, the Curtis piece just kicked in recently. I remember back then when I took that last trip, when I was still undercover? Yeah, yeah. Um... Right before we ended things. You were different when I got back. I knew in my heart you'd been with someone else. Marcus, I... I, I don't blame you. Fact is, I wasn't a good husband. Even when I was with you, I was absent. I never got the best part of you, you know? I left it open for you to look elsewhere for what you needed. You never said anything. Put the blame on you for our split? No, 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 no. It was my fault. Marcus, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Please do not let my work come between us. We have everything else. Everything else isn't enough. Haven't we proven that? Our marriage can't withstand the secrets that you're forced to keep or the ones that you choose to keep because you think you're protecting me. I love you and that'll never change. But your trust in me has. It's gone, and I don't see another way around that. Look, if we're being perfectly honest, you never trusted me either. Because if you did, you wouldn't have shut me out all those times. Do you think I liked doing that? No, I think you hated it. But I also think that you'll do it again the first time something big pops up. And it will. And you'll keep whatever it is from me. And it will torture both of us. So you see, for both of our sakes, it's best if we just end it. <laughs>